So that's why they call them Stalkerazzi. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things the paparazzi ever did. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most egregious examples of the celebrity press and photographers crossing the line with their famous subjects. Number 10, reporter kisses Will Smith on the mouth. It's just his shtick, you know? And I said, well, that's why his ass got stuck. Yeah. You know? Ukrainian reporter slash prankster Vitaly Saduk seems to be looking for trouble. At the 2012 Men in Black 3 premiere in Moscow, Saduk kissed the Fresh Prince. Smith didn't take kindly to the lip lock, giving Saduk a backhanded slap. Perhaps Saduk forgot that Will played Muhammad Ali. Smith said, quote, He's joking. He's lucky I ain't sucker punching. Oh, yeah. Perhaps Will was also lucky. Saduk has since, in separate incidents, given Leonardo DiCaprio, Bradley Cooper, and Brad Pitt what could be best described as red carpet crotch hugs. And Kim Kardashian has had two run-ins with Saduk, one where he allegedly shoved her, and another when he tried to kiss her ass, literally. Number 9. Reese Witherspoon Assaulted by a Paparazzo Don't touch me! Don't touch me, Sebastian! Reese Witherspoon doesn't like the paparazzi. Check that. Reese Witherspoon really doesn't like the paparazzi. Maybe this contentiousness started at her daughter's sixth birthday party at Disney's California Adventure Park in 2005. The happiest place on earth wasn't so happy when pap Todd K. Wallace allegedly became angry when Reese and her friends declined to be photographed. Wallace faced battery charges as he, according to prosecutors, struck a five-year-old girl with his camera and shoved two park employees. And it wasn't Wallace's first arrest. The previous year, he faced charges stemming from his pursuit of Misha Barton. Yeah, even though we were almost killed, it was kind of fun. Number 8. Chris Brown Chase Causes Crash Chris Brown hasn't exactly been anyone's favorite celebrity since he pled guilty to assaulting Rihanna in 2009. I never, ever had problems with anger. Still, that doesn't mean we have to like what happened to him in 2013. Brown was driving to an L.A. area charity event when two paparazzi vehicles allegedly blocked his car, with the paps jumping out to shoot pictures. Trying to escape, Brown was reportedly cut off by two more vehicles, causing him to swerve into a wall. We're in pursuit! Headed towards Persian Square! Brown walked away, but his Porsche was totaled. This may not have been Brown's only car wreck, but this incident appears to be another example of overzealous paparazzi. Number 7. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver Boxed In Before Kim and Kanye, there was Arnold and Maria. Would you say Maria is the love of your life? Oh yeah, absolutely. The marriage between the Terminator and Shriver, a journalist who was also John, Robert, and Ted Kennedy's niece, could be called a marital mismatch made in media heaven. Here they are, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his lovely wife, Maria Shriver. However, a jury determined that paparazzi Giles Harrison and Andrew O'Brien took it too far in May 1997. What people need to understand is it's a job. The two chased, then blocked from leaving, a car carrying the couple's three-year-old, a five-month pregnant Shriver, and Schwarzenegger, who himself had recently undergone open-heart surgery. The actions were considered so egregious that Harrison got 90 days and O'Brien 60 days in jail, both found guilty of false imprisonment. Number 6. Nicole Kidman run over by paparazzo on a bike Well, no one witnessed it, but she was pretty distraught. In 2013, Kidman was entering Manhattan's Carlisle Hotel when paparazzo Carl Wu, blazing down the sidewalk on a bike with camera shuttering, lost control and careened into the Oscar winner. While the actress was knocked to the ground, she was uninjured. Wu, considered one of the most disliked members of the paparazzi, did apologize and called it an accident. Who are those freaks? Well, I can tell you one thing, they're definitely not cops. While Wu wasn't arrested, he was issued a fine for reckless driving. With this and a 2010 run-in with Lady Gaga's bodyguard, let's just say we're not surprised that an F.U. Carl Wu Tumblr page existed. Number 5. Lindsay Lohan's car intentionally crashed into well, I should have done this to her before he loaded when he abandoned me! Off the screen, Lohan has acquired quite the party-friendly reputation. Part of that rep comes from the fact that she's not exactly kind to her cars. 
However, a crash in 2005, the same year her film Herbie Fully Loaded hit theaters, can be blamed on an overzealous lensman. Why? Because I'm a girl? Dad, I've had one crash. Race had dozens. It's different. Paparazzo Gallo Cesar Ramirez followed Lohan, but when she was about to report it to police, Ramirez reportedly rammed her Mercedes. Ramirez was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon, but as it turns out, there was already an outstanding warrant for his arrest on a $5,000 narcotics charge. Number 4. Blocking Britney Spears' Ambulance on the Way to the Hospital Britney has given the paparazzi a lot of stories over the years. Like when she shaved her head, then days later went after a car with an umbrella, or when she almost dropped her baby in front of a zillion photographers. There are also the countless nights she stepped out on the town, saws underwear. So did they really have to block her ambulance? In January 2008, Brittany was taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. The throngs of photogs ignored sirens and honking horns until they got their shots, a move as reckless as it was potentially life-threatening. Number 3. Jennifer Aniston photographed topless in her backyard ah! Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So no one told Jen life was gonna be this way. Back in 1999, at the height of Friends' popularity, a paparazzo scaled an 8-foot wall at the Malibu home Aniston shared with then-husband Brad Pitt. Armed with a high-powered lens, the photog took several shots of a topless Aniston sunbathing in her backyard. Check me out. I'm in my kitchen. Nick. The photos appeared in tabloids worldwide, but Jennifer didn't take the intrusion lying down. Instead, she sued the photo's distributor, François Navarre, for invasion of privacy, trespassing, and misappropriation of her likeness. These, these tabloids, all of us, need a, to take responsibility on, on what we in, ingest into our brains. The case was settled out of court, with the Friends star receiving over a half a million dollars in damages. I think everybody knows it's all BS and like soap opera on paper. Number 2. Sean Penn and Madonna's Wedding Interrupted by Helicopters It was hard to find a higher wattage celebrity couple in the 80s than Sean Penn and Madonna. After their engagement, countless media outlets salivated at the possibility of getting the ultimate shot, Sean and Madge tying the knot. It took rooting through the couple's trash for the paparazzi to ultimately unearth the location of the top secret nuptials, a cliffside home in Malibu. Held on Madonna's 27th birthday, multiple helicopters descended on the wedding, whirring so loudly the couple's vows couldn't even be heard. Madonna responded to the disruptions with a one-finger salute, and Penn wrote F off in the sand below. But really, can anyone blame them? If you really, really like someone or idolize someone or you, you do anything to find out about them. Number one, they contributed to Princess Diana's death. With confirmation from Buckingham Palace tonight that the world has lost uh, Princess Diana at age 36. Paris, August 31st, 1997. It's the moment that arguably turned the public and celebrities alike against the paparazzi. Princess Diana, reported boyfriend Dodi Fayed, and their driver Henri Paul died when their car crashed in the Pont de Lama road tunnel. At the time, most fingers pointed at the overzealous paparazzi chasing Diana's car. It's them, they are the murderers. You know, they are guilty. An 18-month French judicial investigation blamed the crash on an inebriated Paul while a British inquest found both the Paps and Paul equally responsible. However, no paparazzi did time for her death. In the court of public opinion, however, the paparazzi will likely always be inexorably linked to the death of the People's Princess. And they, there's no way the public would have allowed them yeah. to suffer in that way. I mean, yeah. Diana was truly repeatedly traumatized yeah. by the worst aspect of the yeah. paparazzi. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.